Ladies and gentlemen, we have an award to present. Come on out here, Justin. Justin Yurko is one of our own. He's from the area. He has now become an IFBB pro. We just want to give him award. It's one of our traditions. We give the 52-inch uh, Claymore sword because he has passed through the Allentown shows. And he's one of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Yurko. <laughs> Thank you, Allentown. I want to give a big thanks to Jack, Craig, NPC. Uh, I did this show, God, it seems like it was yesterday, but it was already back in uh, 2012, seven years ago. The Lehigh Valley uh, won the overall, had an amazing time here. And that was kind of the start of it. Um, the first show I did was actually Bill Grant. I think Bill Grant is actually here in the building too. His was the first show I did in 2008 when I started my career and it just knew it was something I wanted to stick with. So uh, I can't thank the MPC, the Allentown area enough for the support you guys have given me and the stage and the platform in our backyard. So big thanks to you guys. And as far as my family, I can't, this is why I brought them up here. This is my support and my backbone right here. My wife, Jessica, and my little daughter, Alina, she's being a little shy, but without them, I definitely couldn't be uh, IFBB Pro or even an NPC competitor without their support at the end of the day. So I think all of you out here, you owe yourselves a round of applause because you all supported someone back here. So give yourselves a huge round of applause for the support you've given someone. So thank you for everyone who's come in attendance and thank you again. All right, so we are here at the Big Cat Classic 2019. Uh, just got off stage, accepted an award from Craig and uh, Jack Sassman, just turning IFBB Pro. And uh, they had me back here because I originally did a We Have Valley show here back in 2012, fresh out of college. So I won the overall here, and they always told me, like, once I got my pro card, we're gonna have you back, we're gonna give you an even bigger sword and they definitely were not lying about that with this thing. Um, so it's been an honor being here and being able to have my family here has been an amazing experience. And I mean, without them, that was the main reason I wanted to bring them up on stage is because without these two little munchkins, this little munchkin, this big munchkin, uh, what I do would not be possible. So it's been a key to my success and I'm sure a lot of competitors can feel the same way as far as their at home life and their family and stuff. My mom and dad were supposed to be here. They couldn't make it, they got stuck in traffic so they weren't able to make it, but they were another part of this as well. And they were supposed to be here in attendance, but the traffic held them up. So hopefully we got some good footage. They'll be able to check it out as well. Um, and I honestly, I got caught up in the speech that I was supposed to mention them in this speech and just kind of everything going on, the lights on me, the mic on me. I was like, all right, I definitely forgot to mention my parents, but they were a huge part to it as well. Um, my mom was definitely not a big supporter at the beginning, but she's coming around. Uh, I'd say over the past couple of years, once she saw like me multitasking and taking on a career and having a family and being a good father, being a good husband now too. So I think uh, she's seen me kind of full circle become like a man and not just a bodybuilder now. So I think she appreciates it a little more. And this is the uncut, this is the real life of a family right here. This is contest prep or non-contest prep. So it's always craziness here with the Yurkos. That's our daughter, Alina Rose, over there yeah. with cheese on her face and hands. And this is uh, my wife, Jessica, with cheese all over herself now, too. Come here. Come say hi. She's shy right now, but by the end of it, she'll be running laps in front of the camera, doing ballet. So it's funny, on Instagram, you see like perfect pictures, perfect videos. This is normally what's happening like behind the scenes of my perfect pictures and videos with the family, is this chaos right here. As far as uh, this prep and stuff, I worked with uh, AJ Sims and uh, it was an eight week prep actually because of our wedding. We got married in June. So came back from the wedding, 
and wasn't expecting to go into prep, but he liked how it looked. So eight week prep and we nailed it at North Americans this year. And uh, everything just went so smoothly. Everything was perfect. It's like it was just meant to be as far as being able to fly out there early thanks to Bro Active Wear and uh, his support and put me up in a hotel a week early so I could just kind of cruise into the show and come in nice and stress-free. Definitely made the difference. And uh, they were able to come out as well. So having my family there is always important, their support. And uh, they drove out, so my family made out there, my mom, my dad. So we had the whole crew there. We had an awesome cheering squad, and it was a dream come true out there. But I'd say it was uh, probably the hardest prep, too. Do you agree? Yeah, I'd say with the family and stuff, they definitely had to deal with a very low energy daddy and husband who uh, was pretty useless for six of the eight weeks, yeah. maybe. But in it all, I mean, she still smiled. Yeah, she still smiled. We got through it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then we had a party. Yeah, that's what she's saying. And then, uh, <laughs> we'll leave that part out. <laughs> yeah, so mommy threw daddy a, <laughs> a birthday party when I got back because my birthday was August 18th. And uh, just being in prep, I couldn't celebrate my 30th. So we did a birthday party when we got back. Hey. Mommy surprised me. And it was also a surprise IFBB Pro celebration too. So it was uh, the best of both. And uh, I think this one's had it. So I don't think we'll be able to do too much today, unfortunately. Now from winning shows. We have more than one. Yeah, I feel <laughs> and um, this we, is my idea. So we keep them one under her side of the bed and one under my side of the bed. Most families have baseball bats. We have swords for intruders. So don't come to our house.